Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Welcome to week two of subscriber store reviews. The series is pretty self-explanatory. Every single week, I'll take a look at one, sometimes two Shopify stores from people who watch my YouTube channel or people who follow me on Instagram. So the reason I wanted to do this particular series is because when I speak to people on YouTube or when I put polls out on YouTube, on Instagram, on Facebook, and I ask people, what do you struggle with most when it comes to dropshipping? Do you struggle with product research? Do you struggle with running profit? marketing campaigns? Do you struggle with Shopify store design? More often than not, it's the Shopify store design that comes in last. In fact, I think every single poll I've ran, Shopify always comes in last. However, from the majority of Shopify stores I see in my own personal opinion, they are not worthy of being successful. And your Shopify store is the foundation of your business. It doesn't matter if you are selling the best thing since sliced bread and you're giving it away for free. If you do not have a professional and trustworthy Shopify store, your visitors will not become customers because they won't trust you. So in this series, I wanted to help you guys out. Anybody who's been having trouble getting the results that they hoped for, head over to Instagram, send me your store link. I've got a list of all the stores that I'm going to review. I'll put your store in that list. And then as I work my way through them, you will eventually get your own store reviewed. Before we jump into store number one, I know the introduction to this video has been quite long. I just want to say that times have changed in terms of what you can get away with now in drop shipping. So six years ago when I first started, you could get away with Shopify stores that looked very amateurish, that were pretty poor in fact. And that was largely down to the fact that competition was a lot less than what it is today. If you want to succeed today, then in my opinion, you have to be a lot more professional. You have to be better than everybody else and you have to stand out from everybody else because dropshipping is quite competitive or at least it's more competitive than what it was six years ago. Then when somebody comes onto your Shopify store, it's probably not the first Shopify store that they've ever visited. So if yours looks the same as everybody else, you're using the same templates, fonts, color schemes, all that sort of thing, you're just going to blend into the rest of the pack. And the harsh reality is that the majority of the pack fail at this. So if you're doing the same thing as everybody else, then you're probably going to have the same results as everybody else, which is ultimately failure. So with that being said, let's jump into store number one. I'm going to be reviewing two stores today. I've got this store here, which is magaccessories.com. It's like a tech store. And then I've got this store here, which is ostoma.store. Um, the reason I'm going to start off or the reason I'm doing two in this video is because this first one is not too bad. There's a few little things which I'm going to point out in this video, but I don't need to spend too much time on this particular one. So magaccessories.com. They've got their favicon installed at the top, which is good. They've got free shipping and 45 day money back, which is great. It's not just a typical 30 day or 14 day that you see. At the top here in the announcement bar, this is really good real estate space in terms of website um, terms. I would definitely have scrolling messages. Um, the more kind of things you can do or put across or offer your customer, the more likely you are to get them to see something that is relevant to them, which is then going to encourage them to take advantage of that offer or trust you more, whatever it may be. So you could have scrolling messages along the lines of one for free shipping and money back guarantee, one for what your trust pilot rating is or what your store rating is, one for a discount code for all new customers, pretty much endless things that you can put up here. We've got a custom logo, which is good. This is pretty basic. However, um, logos aren't that important in my opinion, not until you get to kind of like big established brands where people start recognizing your logo, but at this stage it's totally fine. Home button, shop button, which is fine. Um, we have humidifiers. We have cleaners. We have the three in one. In fact, we don't. So straight away, this um, if I was on this store, potentially thinking about buying a product and I saw all of these empty pages, in my opinion, that's a bit unprofessional. It's going to upset me. I'm probably going to be thinking, well, what else are they unprofessional about? And therefore, I'm going to leave and probably try and buy their product elsewhere. They have a tracking order page, which is nice. However, as you can see, it's took us away from the actual Shopify store. So all those menu items at the top are now gone. I am a big prefer or I prefer a track your order page which is hosted on your Shopify store. They have no link to contact us information which I like to put at the top and they have no link to returns or refund information which again is what I like to put at the top. Sometimes I'll even put shipping information at the top as well um, depends on the actual product. The reason I do this is because people want to know answers to all of these things before they make a purchase of a product. So if you put it loud and clear at the top they can easily find those answers. I'm not going to spend too much time on anybody's homepage because 
is probably one of the least important pages on the Shopify store, dare I say it. The most important page is definitely gonna be your product page. So let's head over to the humidifier um, and take a look at this. So Lava Mist TM humidifier, quite like the name to be fair, Lava Mist, because it is that kind of lavery, misty look. We have orange flame and we have two color flame. I don't like the fact that this snaps between two completely different photos. Now I know it's a different product. However, I would like to keep it uniform with the same background. So see how these are kind of similarish background. I like everything to be super uniform and super slick in that sense. To me, these just look like imported stock photos from AliExpress. So anybody else who has advertised this product and used those exact same photos, any potential consumers probably just gonna identify this store as the same as that other store. And if they didn't buy from that other store, they're probably not gonna buy from these guys either. Fast worldwide shipping. I like to make this more specific at the beginning, focus on one country at a time. If I'm shopping on this store based in the UK and I see fast worldwide shipping, I don't wanna buy from somewhere who is shipping their item from America or shipping their item from a different country. I wanna know it's coming from the UK. So I would put specific here to the traffic, the country that you're focusing on. So fast UK shipping. Buy two and get 10% discount, use code SAFE, that's fine. 45 money day and free delivery, that's all cool. Moving down then we have the overview, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That looks a bit lazy to me. There's nothing really there that sells the product to me. Um, it's not very appealing. There's no GIF showing the effect of the product. It's a pretty lazy overview in my opinion. Um, product information, what do we have here? So function, ultrasonic, don't know what that means. Um, applicable, object, household, shape, columnar noise below 36 decibels, so that is relevant, but this just looks like it's been imported from AliExpress. Specifications American, this doesn't really make sense. So again, it's a lazy product information. It doesn't look very professional and you're not gonna convert anybody um, on buying this product with, with a product page like this. Moving down into the reviews and the testimonials. So I'm quite picky when it comes to review apps that I have on my store. Um, I don't like to block out the names like this, if I can, depending on what app you wanna use, because it looks like they could easily be manufactured if you're not even putting the real person's name on there. The date is good because they can see there's recent customers. And again, I, I don't particularly like showing the country on there either because me being based in the UK, if I come in here and see somebody's bought that from Korea, if I'm not mistaken, um, from France, um, let's see what else we've got in here from Canada, then from Germany, no one on this site has bought it from the UK, so they're probably not a UK business and therefore I'm gonna avoid it. The next thing that I see so many people do is they'll import their view, their reviews and they think more the better, more the better. However, it's definitely a case of quality over quantity. So just read these reviews, don't be lazy, read the reviews. I'm pretty, that is not a very good review. I'm very happy, nice for decoration in the living room. That's not too bad, wonderful. I love this diffuser. It's programmable in time, so that's a great review. It talks about the actual product. It's no broken English, it actually makes sense and is relevant and helpful for any potential customers. So just make sure that when you do import your reviews that you actually proofread them because any potential people coming on here who see these kind of broken English ones that don't really make sense, it's gonna be actually more off-putting um, than it is convincing. Moving on to store number two, then we have Oztoma.store. So this is actually a really good product i recommended it in a video um, last week if not the week before um, however if we have a look at this store immediately there's so many harsh edges to it and what i mean by that is that we have a black header we have then a brown announcement bar which is fine but then we go into the logo which has a white background we then have another brown section with a white background on the photo here it's not very kind of seamless it doesn't flow very nicely um, in my opinion as we move down the home page they have some info about the product they have some very overly large imagery I'm going to let that slide for now because purely we're going to be focusing on the product pages rather than anything else. So they have the menu bar up here and they have this particular menu bar, have a contact information with just a contact page. There's no even kind of notes to go along with that. There's no email address. There's no telephone number. There's no physical address. There's no expectation of when this company is going to get um, back to you. That definitely needs padding out a bit more. And like I mentioned with the other store at the top here, there's no shipping information, refund information. There's no your order page on this particular one and um, there's a lot missing from this store in my opinion if we head on to their wallets collection then i think what would look really nice with this store is because all of these wallets have a white background so i would make the entire store white and then just have these actual images and i think it would look really cool 
in it will look really slick and really professional however with the black background and the harshness of the white background and how some of them have these icons that say Arfid some of them are just um, plain images of the product some have like there's a logo in this one in the top left I'm not really sure what that means there's no kind of uniformity to the site let's focus on a product page then um, let's go for this metal slim e-wallets actually have one of these not from these guys of course uh, what happened then did I click on that ah, I did so I don't like that either somebody has clicked on or somebody me or any potential customer has clicked on a specific product that they want information on and the first thing they get hit with is a you may also like I don't want information on these products I want information on this one so in my opinion get rid of this section or better yet put it right at the bottom moving down then into the actual product page um, again the black background makes it quite harsh on the eyes it's not very visually pleasing we have a color of a malachite blue carbon fiber army green again i think the images go right to the edge of the white as well again this it just doesn't flow very nicely in my opinion in terms of the actual description itself so they have premium pu leather craftsmanship so what does that apply to? There's no kind of clarity there. They have some shipping information. Shipping takes two weeks to deliver, so enjoy the free shipping while it lasts. They have a contact us form again um, with the brown background, which is okay. Having a con In fact, I wouldn't have this on your product page. You don't want to give consumers an excuse to contact you. You want them to buy your product there and then. So keep that for the contact us page. If somebody wants to contact you, um, they will look for that at that point but don't distract them from the ultimate goal, which is making a purchase by putting it on your product page. There's also no reviews um, on this product, which is totally fine um, if they haven't sold any yet. In terms of the actual description, that font is too small, there's too much of it. Um, given my experience with consumers today, they don't wanna spend longer than two minutes on your Shopify store. They're certainly not gonna zoom in and read through every single word. There's no kind of like, um, description of different sections or features of this product it just talks about what the product is there's no kind of zoom in of the clip to show exactly what the clip is what it's made out of what it does what it can hold there's no demonstration of how the product works either how you put your cards in how you take your cards out there's no dimensions of this product either um, if you're going to try and convince me to buy something to replace my traditional wallet then I want to know exactly what it is um, that I'm buying so overall with this store I think there's some fundamental flaws with it um, definitely needs a lot more care and attention um, if I was the person who owned this store I wouldn't spend another penny on ads right now I would check out other stores which are selling similar products successfully and I would try and mirror um, the design and look and feel that they're going for want to check out of course if this is your store is a brand called Ridge Wallet with that being said then the fundamentals the skeleton is kind of there it just needs a bit of care and attention and a bit of kind of design pizzazz if that's the right word just to make everything flow a bit more um, better look a bit more visually pleasing to the eye and ultimately just put that information about the product across in a more easily digestible way and so with that being said guys that's the two stores I wanted to feature um, this week if these are your stores and please don't take any of this feedback um, personally it wouldn't be fair of me to not give my honest thoughts because ultimately that might just lead you down the road of running ads and wasting money and seeing nothing in return so I wanted to give my brutally honest um, opinion and hopefully you can appreciate that if you want to get your store reviewed make sure you head over to instagram there's links in the description down below um, dm me send me your store link i'll add it to the list and as i get around to it i'll be performing a video review just like this one for you thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one